Hey guys and girls, I'm coming to you today with the book um, Gossip Girl, the third Gossip Girl. It's called All I Want Is Everything. Um, I loved it. Uh, four stars out of five. It was pretty good. It was actually better than the first two. I don't have the book with me now, so right now I'll throw up the picture. Yeah. I love how Cecily Von Zagaser just keeps throwing out these like designer names and, you know, Blair opens her iMac or whatever it's called. She calls it iBook. I love Aaron's storyline just because like it's so much different than the um than the show. I know I compare the show and the book. I love his character just because he's just so like real with everybody. Not totally real because sometimes he hides his feelings, but like other than that, he's just to this total like hippie. He's got like dreads and all this crazy stuff. His whole thing. He doesn't have a thing with Blair, but he kind of has a crush on her. In this book, Nate kind of gets his crap paid him back to him, like, you know, how he goes after Jenny. Then he just goes off and is just a total jerk face and totally ignores her and just, I don't know, he's just a jerk in the books, kind of, not a jerk, but like, he just, duh, he's just so, like, aloof of everything. It's, uh, it's, it's funny, but at the same time, it's just like, what, what are you doing? I said in my notes, just because you're rich and handsome doesn't mean you'll always get the girl, which is like, that's, that's Nate. Like, he's just this total, like, pothead, and he just, uh, he's got a lot of stuff going for him, but he just seems to mess it up. Like, he had Blair, and he decided to skip on her, and then he has Jenny, and then he decides to, like, totally ignore her. But she kind of gets to be kind of a, like, a weirdo in this book, Jenny. She just, like, um gets really obsessive with Nate, like, um, she thinks that just because he says he loves her means that she's got him forever. She sends him, like, a lock of her hair, some underwear that he got. This is weird. Okay, they buy each other underwear for Christmas. Like, unless you're married, I don't see why you would buy somebody underwear. Vanessa's in the Central Park. She accidentally films them romp romping, romping around rolling around. With Vanessa and Dan, I feel bad for Vanessa. Like, Dan can't really tell her his true feelings. I don't know why. He's just so strange. And like, um, she's like, oh, let's bring up the sex topic. And he does, or they do. And like, I'm not saying it's lame that people, uh, wait till marriage to have sex. He, like, he's such a drama queen. He just gets really dramatic and it's just like, Oh, blah, 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 it's about me and my poetry. She gets all, like, cute, and she gets the Victoria's Secret and gets stuff, and, like, um, and then he totally rejects her, and he doesn't explain, and she just leaves, and I feel so bad for her. Vanessa sends in one of Dan's poems into The New Yorker, and it gets accepted, and it's just a makeup for all the crazy uh, stuff that's been happening between them. Also about this book, what I loved was, um, Blair, she's crazy. She's my favorite character. If I haven't said that before, I'm saying it right now. She just, like, has this awesome struggle through life. Not really struggling, but, like, just making up the struggle in her head of, um, about her, um, college application and her college essay and trying to get her counselor to or like the school counselor to help her out and everything but she has some really bright ideas and she's really smart but yeah it's really cool to see somebody who's got a lot of stuff going for them but she still has to like make sure she does the right thing to get into college and everything i really like this book it was full of a lot of funny drama and just like a lot of i guess um just good stuff, like real stuff, like not something that you'd be like, that would never happen to anybody. That's what I kind of like about these books, like it could happen to somebody. Also in this book, I liked um, that Serene actually found a guy that she liked. She goes after Aaron and like she's got all this crazy stuff going on with this other guy and she just totally just is like, I can't deal with you and she just like walks off with Aaron and um, <laughs> Blair comes up behind them and she's like, kiss already and they're like, okay and it's really funny but um yes 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 and Serena just kind of gets herself together in this book she just figures out um kind of not what she needs to do but like things that she needs to do romantically to be right with herself rather than following after any guy 
um, I guess you could call it settling down or something like that. I don't know. That was my uh, review for the third Gossip Girl book. Um, stay tuned later for the review of this book. I'm almost done. I've got like this much left. And uh, um, I'm trying to get it done. I thought I'd get it done by today, but I didn't. So yeah, you got a Gossip Girl review, which was kind of sloppy, and I'm sorry. I will pro I'm trying to get better and better at this, so stand by and you'll see better and awesomer videos and better books and all that stuff. Why am I doing this? I've been watching too much Rims of I because I start doing this. That's what Chris does. Goodbye.